In this video, I'm going to explain what a validation rule is in Salesforce and why you might want to use them. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know where you can find a number of examples of validation rules to use in your own Salesforce org. A validation rule is business logic that prevents the user from saving the record. And there's a couple reasons why you might want to use one. The first one would be in a situation where a required field just doesn't get the job done. So to give you an example, perhaps you've got a field called contract term, and you want to have that field filled out if an opportunity is closed one. But if an opportunity isn't closed one, you don't need it to be required because maybe the salesperson doesn't know what that contract term is going to be. With a validation rule, you can essentially say that when an opportunity stage equals closed one, then require that contract term field to be filled out. Another reason why you might want to use a validation rule is for data integrity. If you have some logic to your data that you want to enforce, and you want to guide your users and help them not make mistakes, validation rules can be great for that. So an example of this might be you've got license start date and you've got onboarding start date, two different date fields on an opportunity. And you don't want the salesperson to make a mistake and set that onboarding start date before the license start date. Maybe that license is required before you can start onboarding. Well, you can put this in a validation rule as well. You can compare those two values. And if onboarding start date is before license start date, that can present an error. And with validation rules, you can customize what that error says. So you can give that user a message to remind them that this doesn't make sense and help them understand what they need to do to fix the problem and then save the record. Now, one thing that can be tricky about writing that validation rule is you're writing the formula as the inverse of the behavior that you want to have happen. So you're actually writing a formula to be the opposite of what you want. And Salesforce's example here in the validation rule screen is actually a really good example. So their example here is discount percent is greater than 0.3. So essentially they're saying if that discount is over 30%, then cause the error, show the message and tell them you can't do that too much of a discount. So what the behavior that they want is a discount that's less than 30%. But the formula is written in such a way that if that formula is true, if that discount percentage is over 30%, it will cause an error. And it will display the custom message that you've written here to let that salesperson know that that's too much of a discount, and they might need to back off on that a little bit. So if you're looking for more examples of validation rules, and some specific examples that you can use in your own org, I recommend you take a look at this playlist from our friends over at Forcebot. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.